12 years. <laughs> yeah. But, I wanted to see if you knew that. <laughs> on Valentine's Day, it's hard to forget. We had known each other our entire lives. Yeah, basically, yeah. He worked with my dad. Yeah. So anytime we were out dancing, my dad would say, hey, if you see Joe, ask him if he wants to work tomorrow. <laughs> and I'd been going, doing a lot of dancing and going around and stuff. And my mom told me, she said, you better start going back to church. I said, what? I said, well, I may, I may go one of these Sundays. And then she said, you know, you better go to church. And I, I thought about it. And then I went and then, oh, it was great. And I said, well, I'm going to keep going every Sunday now. So my mom went with me, you know, and uh, like I've been, I was, before that I was going out dancing and all kinds of stuff, and I prayed one night, and I did it. I didn't know and that. I did it, yeah. And look what you got in answer to your prayer. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> We've both been married before, and Christ was nowhere in that, for me anyway, which... I believe led to the downfall of that. Because when you're married, as in every life, there's always struggles. But if Christ is at the center, it's easier to get through those struggles. And it makes it easier not to run away from the problems. You face them head on instead. It's what really held us together, I know that. I think you have to make your marriage a priority. You have to make Christ the center of it. It's like that verse in Ecclesiastes said, the three together, is when you have three together, you can't break a rope. I think you have to have that. And it makes it much stronger. If you have just two of you, it's easy to pull it apart. But Christ being in the center of it, and doing those things that you have to do as married couples to keep him at the center instead of getting bogged down in your job and the bills that have to be paid, the repairs that have to be made on the house. You have to keep that. Yep. Definitely. We met at church at Sandson Baptist. We both were in the um, praise and worship band there and we both were um, going through divorce and mutual friend said you guys should talk so we did and one thing led to another oops <laughs> like you know we became friends okay. we have a blended family of course um, both having been married and both having had kids and there's a lot of times where we selfishly want to put ourselves first or our kids first and, uh, and we struggle with that a lot. And if we didn't have Christ at the center and somewhere to go for guidance, um, we would have we would have fallen apart. And uh, through prayer and and uh, talking and sharing with each other, um, we've we've really been able to receive God's guidance and His will. And uh, that's helped us through those, those moments when we just felt like nothing else would work. If the situation is that you feel like the grass is going to be greener somewhere else, or you feel like this is just so hard and, you know, maybe meeting someone new or being single is easy, I would just say um, give your marriage everything that you have, you know, fight for it because the grass isn't greener and that you find, you know, maybe what's what's difficult now, you can work through it through counseling and prayer. Um, but that what you think is gonna be better down the road, you know, may not be. And, you know, every marriage just takes work. It just takes that commitment to make it work. watch a lot of vampire movies? Oh, boy. The Notebook? No. Oh. Yeah. 13 Thir years. Yeah, it's 12 years. <laughs> <laughs> Cut. <laughs>
<clears throat> hey, you're right. I'm wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <clears throat> well, 12 and a half. <laughs> we'll split it. When Christ was not the center point of our marriage, it failed. Uh, we actually, um, uh, we were married in, when were we married? In 1993. Mm -hmm. And um, our, our marriage failed after two years. And we actually were divorced for about five years. And um, in 2000, we, um, got remarried and you know we just celebrated 12 years of marriage so um, but that's what it looked like when Christ was not the center point of our life um, it just didn't work we gave up you know since we've been remarried we um, Christ has been the center point of our life and there's been a lot of storms that have come through and the difference is uh, we have not given up. We've, uh, um, you know, the solution uh, has been um, God and um, keep, he's been our glue. <laughs> um, and uh, now I think we, we realize that um, giving up is, is, is not the answer grass is not greener on that side as a matter of fact life got really really bad I had to get really honest with myself you know and um, look at my part and stuff and I think that when couples come to that conclusion that it's just better to go their separate ways um, once I did an inventory of my own faults you know I was able to um, see where I was wrong, you know, and um, I don't know. I just feel like that was a turning point for me, where I was, where I realized how how my own my own character flaws, and that how much um, you you know what I had in him, you know. I think finding the positives, you know, in that person. You know, because they are there, you know, or you wouldn't be together, you know, and definitely, you know, quitting is not an option. And um, I'm just, I'm just glad. I'm just glad that God touched my heart and he put that on my heart for me to be able to see that, you know, to see that I have been so wrong. And um, so, <clears throat> You know, <laughs> you know, you know, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> Today, I just feel like we can get through anything. Mm -hmm. If you would have known us back 20 some years ago when we first met, you wouldn't, we, you would never would have bet all the money you had that we'd be sitting here right now talking to you about Christ. I can tell you that right now. No way. <laughs> Don't give up. Don't give up. Pray together. And no matter what, don't give up and just hang in there. It's just a storm. It'll pass. Would you say that it would be okay for me to go fishing at least once a week for this entire summer season? Absolutely. There you go. You got it. <laughs> you said it. it's on tape. Yeah, yeah, right. absolutely. 